Okay, so let's look at how are you going to log into a website, um, the back end of your website, obviously to see your analytics and how to add products and everything like that. Okay, I'm going to do everything else in sections. So guys, uh, I'm going to show you on this video how to log into your website and then also what a back end is and everything. For the rest of it, I'm going to do separately. So let's go over here. Let's say, so, so the first thing you want to do is you want to go to clientzone.x3web.co.za and log into your client zone. If you do not remember the password, what you can do is you just put your email address in and you say forgot password. From there onwards, you're going to say log into Plesk. Okay, Plesk is the system that we actually use to run your website with. So here you're going to see all my uh, websites on my account. Okay, so what we want to do is let's, let's use Gamers X3 in this situation. Okay, so now you're in the back end of Plesk. You can log into your website right here. You can see the setup of your website here, like your passwords and everything like that. Uh, you can see your dashboard. This is your hosting dashboard. Hosting and DNS, then your emails. You're going to go to your email accounts over here, and you can edit, add, and everything on those. Uh, I'm going to show you guys on another video how to do your emails and so on. Okay, let's go back to WordPress. We're going to log into your website. So now we're going straight into your dashboard. Okay, once you're in the dashboard, just give it a second. It usually takes a little bit to get to the dashboard. Okay, this is what your dashboard is going to look like. Dun, dun. So I usually clean up a little bit. Okay, so uh, this website, I actually don't think I have a website on here. We've got a WordPress on here. Okay, let's see what is on this website. Oh, okay, cool. So I actually only have a theme on this one. Okay, but let's go back. Okay, so there's my, uh, you've got my mail over here, your applications, files, databases. But now when you're in your website, you just press this W thing here over here, this badge over here. And then you're back into the dashboard. This is the dashboard over here. Okay, from here onwards, you've got an ability to add and to edit as you please. So your analytics is over here. Your post, if you want to add a blog post or so. Your media, that's where everything. So your your post is adding a blog post, deleting blog post, editing blog post and so on. Your media over here, this is where all your photos are, are, is off your website. Your pages, these are all your pages of your website. Comments, if somebody comments on a photo or on a blog post or product of yours. Uh, let's go WooCommerce, that is your what you're actually selling from products. That's where you're going to upload and download products or edit products. Uh, analytics, that's uh, your WooCommerce analytics. Marketing, it's your overview and your coupons. Elementor, that's the theme builder that we actually use templates that's a pop-ups that's everything that uh templates that we've got elements is a system that we use to build your website elements kit is your actual kit that you're using appearances where you're going to edit your themes do not edit themes that will break your website patterns customize customize where you can customize your menu your look and feel and everything and there's your menus theme settings and theme file editor here all your plugins is you can see i've got 11 updates for plugins all the users so if you want to add a new user you can do it over here tools settings uh yoast seo is the yoast seo part your contact form social chat and maintenance but we're going to go through on my youtube channel we're going to go through everything over here this video is just for you to show you how to actually log into the dashboard of your website